visit to Krakow because a couch surfer I hosted, called Anya, said you should come to Krakow. So I did, and stayed with her friend Aga and her cat Spritula. Spritula! Krakow, or Krakow, is a Polish city famous for its humongous town square, the largest in Europe. It's full of beautiful old buildings that are too tall to properly fit into frame. Oh, buildings. So romantic. Before going to Poland, people kept saying to me, you won't find any vegan food there. But if Krakow was anything to go by, there's heaps of vegan food. The first cafe we went to, we found by chance. An itsy bitsy place called Krakowska 10 Cafe, which we saw advertise vegan stuff on its sandwich board outside. Inside, I ordered a fresh orange and lemon juice and cake. Cake, plural. They were raw, vegan, gluten-free, and sugar-free. Definitely sugar-free. Oh my gosh, some more massive beautiful old buildings. Vgab is as it sounds, a vegan kebab joint. They also sell cake, hot dogs, smoothies. Not so gluten-friendly, I was sad to discover. But if I could have eaten something, it would have looked something like this. Whilst out at night, we discovered that Vgab had a caravan, which did serve a single gluten-free item, a bounty bar, that transported me into a magical, wonderful world. Oh look, another really tall building. Next day we visited Krovarziv, a fully vegan burger, salad, hot dog and wrap restaurant. Gluten free friendly! Oh yeah. Well, mayonnaise is really good. I've got love on my face tonight. <laughs> oh another old building is it? A castle this time. I should take a moment to mention that Krakow has a famous dragon called Schmock who did a lot of eating of maidens and fire and stuff until they poisoned him with sulfur. On our last day we went to Sir Feet, a restaurant that makes traditional Polish food vegan style. Starting with a wholesome glass of parsley juice, tasted a bit too much like parsley for me, followed by cold pink soup made from beetroot. And well, it definitely tastes like beetroot. <laughs> <laughs> My least favourite flavour. <laughs> I quite like it. It was like drinking salad. For the main meals, we ordered a vegetable stew with potato omelette and vegan pork chop with potato and cucumber cream. The soy pork chop was one of my favourite meals from my entire trip. You can tell this from my expression of deep, thoughtful concentration. It's like meat. <laughs> yeah, this reminds me of like your kid somehow. Yeah. Probably because when I was a kid, I ate pork chops. Now, this couple overheard that we were going to Prat next and helpfully gave us a list of vegan places to check out. Next episode. Prague. Now we must say goodbye to Krakow and its show offy buildings. You know, New Zealand has things too. You know, we, we have the Hobbit. Not convinced? Okay, well, we're out of here. <laughs>